farmer Dre back at it. Today it's another wet day here on the farm. It's been raining for, um, it rained all day yesterday. It's raining all day today. The high today is like 40 something. So it's really cold. I had to pull out the, the winter jacket to work in. But since it's raining outside and it's really wet, I'm gonna go ahead and start stripping out the high tunnel, taking all the tomato plants out, getting the, and you know, just emptying it out and getting it ready for the cover crop. I wanna go ahead and put in a, uh, a white clover and a uh, winter, winter wheat in here. Let it grow all winter long, get the, the, the soil biology, the microbes working. Because if you leave the soil dry, then all the microbes and stuff die. So that's the point of a cover crop. And then next spring, whenever we're ready to go, I'm just gonna till it under, let it decompose there, and kind of do like a green manure so we can build a more organic matter in the soil. So I'm gonna get to it, and you guys make sure to stick around to the end of the video. to work and heart starts beating I could have brought the skister in here but you know it's like you know what I need some physical exercise anyway so why not and for the ones who are wondering what am I doing with the t-post we got a bin here this is apple bin we just put them in which come to come here with the for skister with the pallet forks pick it up and uh, makes life easy my dad always taught us since we were kids work once and don't work twice you know work smart and not hard so, you know, if we could do this just once instead of picking them up, then it'd be a lot easier. Now what I'm gonna jump through, I'm gonna come through by hand and pull out the plants like that and then put them in the, either throw them outside or do something with them, I'll figure it out, but that's the next plan. Come through and put them out and uh, get them going. So it's starting to get dark here and um, I had to go sell a couch for my brother Val and his property there. And uh, now, okay, back, I'm gonna start pulling out these plants. Hopefully, I mean, we'll see. I'm not in a big rush. I'm home all day tomorrow from school. So if I don't, if you guys don't see me again till tomorrow, I went inside and I went to sleep. So I'm gonna try to finish this up as much as I can, pull out the, uh, pull out the plants here. But I'm, I'm thinking about just bringing the skister in here with the grappler to just put them in, because I don't wanna work twice over here to uh, work, you know, to put them on somewhere else and to try to pick them up. I might just drop that side there and throw them outside, but then again, we got to work again. So I might just bring the skist in here with the, the grappler, but it's raining outside. I don't want to make any much mud. And my dad hates it whenever we make trenches and stuff and pits with the tires. So I don't know. I'm in a, a little bind here, but I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling out the plastic and we'll figure that out. And by the way, I'm enjoying a Fuji apple. Mmm. They say an apple a day keeps a doctor away. But it could keep everyone away if you throw it hard enough. So I figured out what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pick up this plastic and kind of just dump it out there and do the same thing. The ones that were in the inside, move them out from underneath and then come through and pull this one out too. And then I'm gonna throw the tomato plants in the middle here on the soil. And I'm just gonna make a big old pile, big old windrow of tomato plants. So when I come tomorrow with the grappler, I'm just gonna grab them all in sections and pull them out. So I'm gonna have to pull out the middle plants here I started and move them to the side and then pull out the plastic and then throw all the tomato plants in the center here and get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this drip tape right here. It's really easy just disconnect like that. I'm gonna keep this header hose, the header line for next year, but this one could come out and we only use this for one season. So I'm gonna replace the next year. And this plastic idea is working a lot better than I expected. So uh, it's working pretty good. So it is the next morning now. It's been raining outside for the last 36 hours or so. It's pretty miserable, maybe even longer than that. It's cold. I just looked at the weather channel. Texas got snow last night. It's supposed to get really cold. Next week we're supposed to get about three to four inches of snow. So it's just, it's coming. And the winter is here, it's going to be a pretty long winter if we're getting snow in October, so we'll have to live and see. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and finish off pulling out the, the plant and then uh, clean it up, take all the um, plastic mulch out, take it outside and uh, get it ready to go to sow in that cover crop. So um, 
I'm gonna get to it, and we'll get it done. <laughs> So this is half the tunnel here. There's a few weeds growing in between here, some uh, palmer amaranthine and then some um, lambs quarters. But overall, I'm just gonna get the connected tiller behind the tractor and just put it underneath. Then come through and sow that cover crop. Now I gotta do the other half here, but it's just uh, a lot of fun. So, getting it. So this is it, all the tomato plants are in the center here. And it is too wet outside now to a um, to get it out of here. So I'm just gonna let it sit in here until the, uh, the soil dries up outside until the the, the, uh, the ground is you know good enough to not make enough ruts with the skister and stuff. And this stuff gets pretty heavy, so it's gonna take a few loads to get out of here. And now I just gotta come through and clean up this side here, pull all the grass out. And even though we still use this plastic mulch, the grass still grew a little through the through there in some places and then on the edge there it's real bad but overall it's not too bad so i'm gonna come through and uh whenever it dries up pull it out and then clean everything up and come through and sow that cover crop i was hoping i'm hoping to do it today but it's too wet outside to haul anything out of here and it'd rather be uh, safe than sorry than to rip up the, rip up the grass there so i'm gonna uh, see what else we could do today and uh we'll get to it so i'm gonna go ahead and haul out these um the leftovers of plants here and I'm gonna make a little bit of mud over there but I'm gonna get the bucket right after I'm done it and level it out nicely so I'm gonna I already took out a load to see how it goes it goes pretty smoothly and um it's just take it out of here and get it ready I'm probably gonna connect the tiller to the uh to the, behind the small tractor and come to up the land kind of bury all this stuff in there and come through and um I've been thinking about it and I'm debating about putting in a cover crop. I'm not exactly sure if I want to plant, you know, some uh, some greens or something like that, but we'll see. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and clean it out, till it under, and uh, get it ready to go. So I'm going to jump in the skister now and uh, get her done.
So just connected the tiller here and this whole entire thing is loose so I'm gonna go ahead and try to tighten that up. But I tried tightening it up but this thing holds sliding, sliding back and forth so I'm gonna have to get a bar or something or a screwdriver to put it in there so I can be able to twist that. So I can tighten it back up so it doesn't come off when I'm tillery and then just become a bigger mess. So I'd rather be safe than sorry so I'm gonna get to it and So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on the wall here and put a hyperlapse going. We're gonna get to putting this underneath and uh, getting it done here. So we'll get it. So here we go, it is ready to go. I mean, if we sprinkle a cover crop on here, it'll go in pretty smoothly, nicely. And if we decide to do, on, so do, do some other things, it'll be ready to go. We still gotta come clean up the sides there, but it's all right for now. And uh, looking pretty good so far, so I don't know exactly what the plan is to do in here, but slowly surely we're gonna get it done. And you know, it's uh, weather kind of cleared up now, so we can start working on this other high tunnel here and get this another one done here so it's just slowly and surely getting things done and putting them in the right place so hey all this is gonna be pretty much it for today i just got done getting everything ready for the farmer's market so uh after we got done oh after i got done with the high tunnel then my brother val got back home and uh, i helped him out a little bit and i just got everything ready for the market so tomorrow i'll be at market all day long and i did not sow that cover crop in because i'm going back and forth between should I put it in a cover crop or should I put it in a cash crop like kale or lettuce or something? I'm not exactly sure. My brother I do is actually going, going to talk to um, some of our local grocery stores, see if they want uh, farm fresh lettuce. And the thing that's holding me, holding me back from planting anything in there is I'm not exactly sure where we are going to sell it. And if you don't have a place to sell it, and you grow something, then you just pretty much grow yourself a big compost pile. And I do not want to do that. So first of all, you got to have the market for it. So that's why we're kind of doing some um, market research right now, seeing if anybody in Springfield or around this area would like some fresh heads of lettuce or kale or whatever. I'm willing to grow whatever they want. So that's why I haven't really sowed that cover crop in. And if I don't get anybody willing to buy something from us in the next couple of weeks, then I'm gonna go ahead and you know sow that cover crop in so the soil biology could keep continuing growing and getting better and better. So that's that's the plan in the high tunnel. So we're gonna have to be waiting. I would love to, you know, plant some um, lettuce and stuff. You know, it's great experience on my side. And if the high tunnels are producing something over the winter, we could have three, you know, two and a half, three high tunnels producing. So we'll have two 30 by 96s and then a two, a, a 60 by 20. That could be producing us money or income throughout the winter and i was talking to a, a different grower and he said you know he tries growing stuff outside in the field and he he still can but anything underneath the tunnel does a lot better and we already have the tunnel space it's just we don't have a market yet so that's what we're gonna have to figure it out so that's gonna be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button if you guys liked this video hit that like button it lets the youtube algorithm know that you guys love me and you guys love my channel and then youtube just starts promoting my channel to continue you know sharing my greatness here on the farm to other people if you guys haven't already go ahead hit that notification icon because i'm trying to come to you guys three days a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time